No Tokyo for Shakira. Band sprinter Shakira Richardson left off the U.S. Olympic team. Band sprinter Shakira Richardson was not on the Olympic roster released Tuesday by the USA track and field, a decision that means the American champion's positive test for marijuana will cost her a chance at running on the relay team in Tokyo, in addition to her spot in the 100 meters individual race. Richardson's positive test nullifies her win at the Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon last month, and the spot that went with it for Tokyo is the 100 meters. Her 30-day suspension will end before the start of the relays on August 5th, which left open the possibility she could win a medal as part of the 4x1 relay team. But her name was missing from the 130-person roster that the USA track and field sent out. The Federation had two discretionary picks beyond the top four finishers in the 100 meter finals at trial, but chose not to offer a spot to the 21 year old sprinter who was expected to challenge for the gold medal. Ask about how Richardson was taking the news her agent, Ronaldo Niemeyer, responded, We haven't spoken about it at all. It was actually not a topic we focused on. In a statement, the USA Track and Field said it was incredibly sympathetic towards Shikari Richardson's excruciating circumstances and fully agrees that international rules regarding marijuana should be re-evaluated. So while our heartfelt understanding lies with Shakari, we must also maintain fairness for all of the athletes who attempted to realize their dreams by securing a place on the USA Olympic track and field team, the statement read. In this case, that meant offering the remaining relay spot to the 6th and 7th place finisher, each of whom moved up in the pecking order after Richardson's disqualification. They are English Gardner and Alia Hobbs. Richardson tested positive for a chemical found in marijuana after her victory on June 19. She said the stress of her biological mother's recent death, combined with the pressure of preparing for the trials, led her to the drugs. I was definitely triggered and blinded by emotions, blinded by badness and hurting and hiding hurt, she said on NBC's Today Show. I know I can't hide myself, so in some type of ways, I was trying to hide my pain. Over the weekend, she sent out a pair of tweets. All these perfect people that know how to live life, I'm glad I'm not one of them. And 2022 to 2025, undefeated. Shortly after the 2012 Olympics, international regulators loosened restrictions on marijuana use, increasing the threshold for a positive test to a level designed to catch athletes only who were using it in the immediate hour after competitions. Potential bans were reduced from two years to as little as a 30-day suspension that Richardson is serving. Where some professional leagues such as the NFL, NHL, and NBA have greatly reduced enforcement of marijuana rules with the acknowledgement that the drug does not enhance performance, 
the Olympic world continues to test for and punish use in some circumstances. According to the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, in addition to substances that trigger performance enhancement, the ban list can also include drugs that can pose health risk to athletes or violate the spirit of the sports. It's a stance that has triggered a wide range debate, largely in the realms of social media, but also in Washington. Last week, President Joe Biden said that while he was proud of the way Richardson handled her ban, the rules are the rules. Whether they should remain the rule is a different issue, but the rules are the rules, Biden said.